hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i am going to talk about the raster state package which helps to create the attribute table for raster data also it is very helpful library for creating and analyzing the uh, raster statistics like mean max and then the standard deviation of the certain raster so let's get start Alright guys, raster state is the very useful essential library for the calculation of raster statistics. So if you want to know more about it, you can check this official documentation which is available on the uh, read the docs documentation and also you can check the official github repo of raster state. Uh, for, for this tutorial, I am going to uh, reference this doc official documentation and then i'm going to do the uh, similar kind of things in this notebook so first thing uh, i need to install this package so for installation i can simply use pip install raster state and then i need to run it uh, you can run this cell by clicking shift and enter since I already installed this package, so it says requirement already satisfied. But in your case, uh, I think you, it will take some time to install these dependencies, which uh, the core dependencies are the FINA and the Rastrio. So after installation, you can simply uh, test it uh, from uh, like you can try to import something and then check uh, the things from raster states import zonal state okay if it runs successfully that means your installation is successful let me increase my font size as well so for this tutorial actually i have installed uh, i have uploaded uh, some of the uh, required data set don't worry about this demo data set actually i am going to provide this data set within the github repository and i'll share this github link with you so that you can test uh, on the same data and you can do the same process so here i have this municipality data set uh, and then i have this nepal land cover data set of 2020 i downloaded this using cds api uh, from copernicus uh, so and i have also another shape called pohara so it's the one of the area within nepal so i am going to use basically these three files for this demo purpose of course you can try uh, based on your own lo location uh, but i am going to try within this data set if you want to test this data set on qgis it will look like this so this is the municipality dot shp file uh, which is simply the municipality uh, some uh, municipal boundary of the nepal and then this is the pohara region so uh, it's located uh, in the center of this nepal and also this is the land use land cover map of nepal uh, let me change the symbology uh, maybe palette okay okay it will look like this and then its value has the uh, class so maybe uh, 10 is the agriculture or something uh, let me show you which class mean what as well so actually this is the class information so uh, this 10 means is the cropland 20 means is the cropland irrigated or post flooding or 30 means mosaic cropland and similar to 220 means permanent snow and ice this class represent the each uh, features uh, each of the land classes okay so now uh, using this raster state package i am going to analyze this nepal land cover data set uh, within my pohara uh, pohara boundary and within all over the nepal municipality so first of all let me try with the pohara so if i want to 
check the statistic of this data within the pohara district so i what i can do is i can uh, use this zonal state which is imported from raster state and then i can provide the pohara file name path and then i can use it write it here save file directory and then the uh, i can provide the land cover this raster directory so if i provide it so it will give us the zonal state of this uh, pohara region uh, within this land cover raster file so here we have the cell count is 5534 and the maximum value is of course 210 as you can see it here as well i think 220 class is not uh, available within this map that's why the ma maximum value is 220 and mean of all the cell is 55.69 and minimum is of course 10 so if you want to do the same thing on the within all the municipality then you simply just need to change the uh, location of this save file just on the first parameter only so let me first copy this and then paste it here and then if i change this to municipality okay so it will give us the all the statistical information within each municipality so it might take some time to run so okay this is the all the statistic of each municipality so the first municipality has the count of i think uh, 2000 something and then maximum value min, mean and minimum value and of course uh, there are lots of other options as well uh, if you want to let's say calculate the percentile or majority or standard deviation median values or some of the all the rest of pixel values then you can do that as well so for that actually what you can do is let me copy the above one because it has only one boundary so i can simply check it so here uh, if you want to uh, if you want to see the other statistics then you can simply provide the uh, states states state equal to and then you can provide what parameter you want so the available things are sum and then uh, you might also need to see the standard deviation within this pohara region and then also the u unique values uh, and then of course if you want to see the no data value it will also available for you so if you run it so it will give you the information related to uh, this pohara region so no data value is zero and standard deviation of this all the pixels within this pohara region is 43.52 and this sum field will be very useful when you have the uh, let's say population data set so if you find the population data set in the grid scale uh, then this sum will help you to determine the total population within this particular region but in our our case uh, i think uh, there is this sum field does not make any sense for land cover data set and of course there are other statistics as well so you can provide majority minority median range and percentile value as well uh, but by default uh, it will be available for count max mean and minimum okay and also actually this our this land cover raster is the categorical raster so if you want to calculate the area of particular land classes uh, here are 14 values that means 14 land uh, use classes so if you want to calculate the area of each 14 uh, land use classes then what you can do is you can provide the categorical uh, 
categorical parameter like this okay categorical equal to true if you provide this then uh, it will calculate the uh, it will provide the information related to each classes that means uh, number 10 classes is available for 275 uh, sales that means 275 sales are land classes 10 and 27 sales are land classes 20 something like that and if you want to calculate the area then uh, simply you can uh, multiply this value by the uh, i think the raster width and height in my case the raster uh, cell size is 30 by 30 so if you multiply this value by 30 by 30 then uh, your area of this particular class will be available on square meter so if you want in square kilometer then you just need to change the uh, change the uh, unit so that means you need to divide it by one 1 into 10 to the power 6 yeah okay uh, this is uh, for the categorical legend so if you want to let's say calculate the area of each class in each municipality then you just need to change the change the this uh, file location so here it's pohra.ssp instead of this you can write the municipality.shp and uh, it will give you the uh, sale number of sales in each classes within all the municipality and if you want to uh, create the data frame from these values then simply you can assign it with the uh, i think uh, l lc classes equal to this and then uh, simply you can import pandas as pd uh, if you don't know about pandas uh, please read the official documentation it's like the simply uh, if you want to know in general term it's like the excel uh, data handling in the python so uh, simply you can create the data frame so pd dot data frame and then you can write uh, this lc classes and then uh, now you have the data frame of data frame containing all the uh, these lc classes within pandas data frame all right now you can see this all the classes has some values uh, so what this this data frame will do is it will automatically assign this list of objects uh, into the pandas data frame in this way you can simply handle this cell uh, number of cells into the area so if you want the area then you can simply uh, multiply these values by the uh, i think cell size which is 30 by 30 something like that or 300 by 300 yeah so in this way you can handle your raster data easily and calculate the statistics as well as calculate the area so i hope you like this video uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching